Hello, welcome to Spanish Food 101. My name is Alex Fargas. I'm originally from Barcelona and I will be demonstrating the best Spanish traditional recipes that I have in my mind and show you step by step, very easy, that you can reproduce at home or even in your restaurant or anywhere in the world. Welcome, let's get started. Today, we are going to demonstrate the Barcelona seafood paella. We are going to make the my version of a seafood paella. We have here, we have the uh, ingredients, okay? We will be using the lobster, some squid, prawns, mussels, and clams. The best Spanish rice is called bomba rice. It's very nice to cook paella. We'll get all the flavor inside and the grain of the rice won't be sticky at the end of the cooking. Then we have done the lobster stock already, that this takes very long time. It's a stock done with the lobster head. And at the end, you will see how I use a lot of olive oil and then the ñora pepper that will give special taste to the paella. Let's get started. We have here all the seafood we are going to use today. So we start with the squid. I have just cleaned the inside, remove all the intestines and everything. We are going to open up like a, like a book, so it will be easy to cut. Mm -hmm. Then we open up and we'll cut cubes for cooking for the rice. So I like to cut everything small because the rice you eat with a... Um, so you don't have the knife to cut. So I like that everything is ready to, to eat. So you don't need to use the knife. Important, what I do so I don't cut myself is always I put this finger behind my main fingers on the left. So I never cut and the squid, because have a tough texture, I always slice the, so I make sure everything is cut properly. No need to be very perfect just this size is okay and then for the legs that they I take out already here in the middle the eye what is called the eye okay so I do the same and to go a little bit faster I will do both of them like this so like this I make sure I don't cut myself eh? and always yes slice the knife like this so it's all very well cut okay so I just keep it here for when I need to use, okay? Perfect. This is the main ingredient of our paella today. As they explained to me in the school, what we do with the lobster is to do the cut here, right here first, here, and then the lobster is not going to suffer anymore. Very sharp knife and just one time. Here on the eye, we remove this part of the eye. Is uh, the intestine is not very nice. Can remove here a little bit hard, but the brain we leave it because it's the main ingredient that is going to make the rice very very tasty. Okay. Here now for the lobster claw, we are going to use the back of the knife. Okay, to just make a uh, open the the cloth, okay? If it's for the restaurant, maybe you can do it a little bit nicer, but for home, that we will use our hands to eat, this is good enough, okay? So as you can see now, we make the hole. When it's cooked, then it will be very easy to pull it out. Now we are going to start cooking the paella. For the paella, it's very important, as you can see here, we have the big pan with the big stove and the first ingredient which is very very important is the extra virgin olive oil. I like to put a lot of it okay for many things that I will be discovering to you uh, little by little okay. The first one we are going to put the lobster okay for the lobster uh, all the oil we put uh, is going to take the flavor of the seafood, okay? So the, the fat always helps to get the flavor in. So we have a good stir fry of the product and we will remove the lobster meat that I saved before 
Later we are going to remove. We will put also the prawn, just to give a little bit of color and always the seafood gets the, the nice oil inside. We see here, it's just a little bit of, of the sear of the lobster and we keep the meat is very juicy for the end. For the prawn, the same. I like a little bit to squeeze the head into the pan first, gently squeeze. Can I squeeze a little bit, okay? And in the oil, we'll get all this flavor that we want. We need to add a little bit more oil. Be generous, don't be shy of it, because the oil will give us later the last step, it will be the sukarrat. The sukarrat is when all the stock is already out, there is no more water, the oil will stay at the bottom of the pan and will make that crispy layer of rice at the end. It's called sukarrat and mamma mia, is the best part of the rice for sure. Okay, so here gently we can take out the prawn again. Okay, we take the prawn. As I say before, we have the head. The head of the lobster we will keep uh, in the pan all the time. And the legs, we will just put it when, when it will take around eight minutes to finish. Okay? So we can keep it like this. Now it's time to add the squid inside, right? we stir fry the squid, very nice, the squid, it, it will be a very sweet flavor for the rice, so it's really important to use a lot of squid in my opinion, okay? I also like to open the muscle and the clam in the beginning and just to make sure that the muscle and the clam is good quality and it's not going to give you a bad surprise on your dinner table, okay? So we stir fry, we can turn up the fire a little bit. That again, when you, when you put the oil and then caramelize with the seafood, actually all the ingredients have sugar. So these sugars, when they caramelize with a lot of fat, all this flavor is going to stay in the pan. So don't try to make shortcuts. This one, a lot of oil, stir fry slowly for about five to six minutes. The oil is getting all this seafood flavor. So this one is very important. You will start to hear the squid will start to click, 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 click a little bit on your pan. That's perfect. It's not changing the color and it's important to get like a white pan to do your paella. Now is a good moment to take out the clam, even if it's not 100% open, it's no problem. We can still identify which ones is good, which ones is not good. And then the juice that they will take at the end, it will also help for the paella to finish to cook. Now I will share uh, my secret. I am originally from Catalonia. We love the sofrito. So I'm going to add into the paella. For those that are from Valencia, they will never add any onion or anything else in the paella. But for them also, a seafood paella is, cannot be called paella, it will be called rice with things. So today I am doing my style of seafood paella or my style of rice with seafood, okay? So let me add now a little bit of the sofrito, which is onion and garlic, a little bit of the tomato paste. And now after adding the sofrito, I'll add also a little bit of the ñora paste. It's a special pepper. It's the inside of the pepper, just to give a little bit of extra flavor to the rice, okay? We add a little bit of salt before we put the stock. Now, as you can see, we have stir fry all the seafood for around six to seven minutes. All the oil gets the flavor of the seafood and we are ready to incorporate 
the lobster stock. The lobster stock, we have used around 10 lobster heads to make around three liters of stock. So 10 pieces, so it's around three kilos of lobster head with three kilos of seafood. And then we make the stock. The stock with a little bit of onion, little bit tomato and uh, all the lobster head roasted with the seafood also roast and then we cook for about 45 minutes. We add all the lobster stock. Now we wait for the stock to all boiling and the last thing will be we, we will add the rice. Okay now it's time uh, before I add a little bit of salt but now it's time to try the flavor of the of the stock we should add a little bit more of the salt i use just table salt normal salt thin salt that will be uh, is good for for this one let's talk a little bit before it boils let's talk a little bit about the rice i like to use the rice for bomba it's called bomba rice from spain the good thing that this rice have is that it doesn't have too much starch in, inside, so then it's not going to make it sticky. What we want is the flavor to go inside, but the rice doesn't release too much starch. So that is the perfect choice for the paella. So now a tip is uh, how many people is having a dinner or lunch at home? My mother, the way she will add the rice will be, she will say one uh, full hand per person that is having uh, the dinner. Okay, that will be a good way to do it. But the other way, if we, if we don't have the nice pan, you can use my mother tip, which will be, if it's this paella will be good for five to six people. So we should do five full hands of rice. We always add it in a cross, in a cross. Okay, so it will be easier later to mix it up. Now we mix, we mix it. What is the definition of paella? The definition of paella is a dry rice. Originally you should cook in this paella, but it's okay. If you don't have it, you can use a white pan. Also be careful not to have, a, if, if the pan is white, make sure you don't use small stove with a very white pan. And the definition for a dry rice is that you only add the stock one time so we should not touch any more this rice as we can see our rice is completely spread at the bottom and now with the we will leave it boiling fast for about five minutes after that we will go low fire for about five more minutes and we will add the seafood the seafood will add a little bit more water to finish the paella uh, to cook perfect this bomba rice will take around 14 to 16 minutes to cook. Now I'm going to add the lobster claw and will take around eight to 10 minutes to cook because it's not fully covered. So the top part will need to cook with the steam. So we need to let it cook a little bit more than normal if you are boiling the lobster claw at home. Boiling will do around four to five minutes. Then we'll add the clams and the mussels that they take a little bit longer to cook and they will release some juice that will help us also to make a wonderful seafood paella. We can see that in some parts the rice start to, we can start to see some rice here compared to here is not only water. So I'm just going to check and make sure that the rice is well spread in the pan okay i'm not moving the whole thing just spreading a little bit better the rice mm, the smell mm, que bueno riquísimo and now we are going to add the rest of the seafood we need around five more minutes to finish the rice so we add the prawns that we already have seared in the beginning and then the lobster this one okay it can smell like spain can smell like the coast of costa brava 
is where I have my summer uh, times over there. Nothing better than to have it with a nice white wine. Uh, I love to do this in my holidays. Nice white wine, paella by the beach. Life cannot get better. Cheers. Now we start the last step. As you can see now, the water is evaporating or the stock is evaporating. Now in the, on the sides of the pan, you can start to see the oil that we had in the beginning of the pan. In my cooking school, uh, I had a teacher, his name is Mariano. He told me that the rice uh, talked to you. I say, well, what do you mean talk to you? So now we will start to hear that uh, the rice will start to crisp in the pan and will start to do some tick, 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 tick. Okay, so this is when you know that you are starting your sukarrat. You can see the sides of the pan starts to stick. At the moment, the smell is not burned yet. Another way to see it at home is you can put the, the spoon. You see it's not yet sticky, it's starting to stick. Now the last step, the paella is done. We have wait for two minutes to rest and all the flavor come together. Now we are going to check on our sukarrat. You can hear, eh? and you can see here the burn part at the bottom. This is the nice sukarrat, and I like to mix it together with the rice. So we will have some very crispy rice in the paella. We can add the lobster, some prawn. Always make it beautiful, even if it's at home. Presentation is very important. Enjoy. This is the lobster paella by Spanish Food 101. Salud!